Hello, I'm going to uh, go through the process of making a submission for the idea journal. So you hopefully will come to this page or you may have already come to uh, the make a submission page. Uh, if you've already registered, uh, which a number of you have, you could uh, log in. Uh, but if you're new to, to submitting for the idea journal, you'll need to register. So once you've logged in, we can click on make a submission uh, and this goes through the checklist of everything you need to do um, at this stage most of you will be in ex submitting an, an expression of interest uh, so that's just to get things started and you can see the different types in the copyright notice So let's make a submission. So the way the system's laid out is along the top of the page is each step. Uh, so to start with, we want to select what type. Um, there's a range here. So I'm going to select design research paper, and it gives you uh, a little description of what uh, that will be talking about. Um, there's some submission requirements. Uh, you must read and acknowledge that you comply, complete the requirements below before proceeding. So the, the submission has not been previously published nor is it for another journal for consideration. The submission file is in Open Office, Microsoft Word or text document form or format and the expression of interest can be a PDF file. Where available URLs for the referees have been provided, uh, references have been provided. Uh, don't, that's not a critical one. Uh, the text adheres to the stylistic uh, and bibliographic requirements outlined in the author's guidelines, which are below. Um, I'm gonna, you won't have this, I'm gonna uh, do that is an author and just a, a copyright statement uh, and then save and continue and that goes to the next stage and we upload a, a file so uh, we select the type of file so at this stage it's expression of interest um, and uh, I'm going to drag in my PDF file and push continue and that looks fine, continue if you want you can add other files if you uh, need to later on but at this stage just one page PDF should be enough. Complete. And then we can go save and continue for that step. And this is important, so we need to add um, the title of your EOI. And obviously you can add a subtitle. Uh, Just give a quick extract here. This will most likely need to change uh, later on once we're further down the process. If you need to, you can add a contributor if there's multiple authors uh, at this stage. Uh, and submission metadata, so this is based on the Dublin Core metadata set. Um, so uh, I suggest filling out that as best you can at this stage. Um, but these are things we can add to later if needed. Your submission has been uploaded and ready to be sent, so we just finish submission. Uh, you should want to submit this article, okay. And that's it. Uh, you should have an email that 
uh, give you some information. Um, you can go back and review if you want to make uh, another one. And then the dashboard allows you to keep track of where your submissions are.